Good evening, everybody. It is 636 here in Florida, and peace and blessings and love to everyone. Okay, you guys, what I would like to do is share a dream from Amanda Christian, and oh boy, y'all, it is a doozy. Um, it is showing a timeline of what's happening right now with the coronavirus, and it is also showing uh, her state of being. Uh, meaning uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago, this was put out September 30, 2017. And uh, it is talking about that she was in law. And so it has a twofold meaning and what she was uh, going to be doing the next two years. And that is the preaching and teaching that we are saved by grace through faith. Uh, through Christ alone. And that is it. Okay. And it is just amazing, y'all. Please don't go anywhere. It's talking about the coronavirus. And, well, it's talking about Epcot and Disney. And when I heard it, uh, that Disney was closing down on Sunday, which they did, um, I was like, oh boy. And her dream came to my mind. So I'm going to give you a quick interp on this. I'm going to play her dream. And, uh... I called her four days ago to tell her that Disney was closing down, and I said to her, and I said, Amanda, do you remember your Disney dream? And she said, oh, yes. And oh boy, both of us were getting chills, you guys. And it's two years ago, y'all. Two and a half years ago she had this. And then she started saying, yeah, it was something like, Italy and Spain and uh, France and I said Epcot like Epcot because it's the whole world I mean they have it's not the whole world but uh, Epcot represents um, all the different uh, countries not all of them but a lot of the different countries of the world okay that's what that uh, particular theme park is about and Wow, we were just like, wow. But anyways, I'm going to interpretation this and give you a little bit on it. Uh, interpretate this, I mean. Uh, I'm a little tired, you guys, so just bear with me, okay? And I'm going to start out in the very beginning because I don't want to stop it. She's talking about that she's six or seven years old, that she is on, basically she told me she was on her childhood uh, street, home, and it was a temporary dwelling place. And, um, well, she was on Stewart Street. And we, that we know that a steward is someone that is over something. And we know that she's preaching uh, the gospel of grace through faith in Christ alone for the last two years. Um, so she has been a steward over trying to teach people about the Lord God and His love, His mercy, His grace, His forgiveness. Uh, and, you know, that we are saved by the Lord Jesus Christ alone. And that we are saved and sealed, once saved, always saved, until the day of redemption. He bought and pay, paid for us with his blood. And he's going to come back and redeem exactly what he paid for. And that was you and I that believed upon him and was saved by faith. A circumcision made with the heart, not by hands, okay? Not by the works of the flesh. Now, uh, seven years old, six or seven, I believe that that has something to do probably with the tribulation period. Um, it could, anyways. And uh, a child at home. Well, she's a child of God. And I do believe that she was saved when she was little, but she got indoctrinated into law. And just like a lot of people do, y'all. And But they're saved and they're sealed. Uh, they're just not understanding. And a lot of times they're in fear their whole lives, unfortunately. Because um, they just do not rightly divide the word or somebody's teaching them wrong. And, okay, so let's see. Yes, this is a two-fold dream. It's talking about what's going on right now. Unbelievable. Don't go anywhere. It's talking about the coronavirus uh, Asian people. And it's talking about what was going on with her then. Meaning she was steeped in law. It took me like eight or nine months to um, finally, through the Holy Spirit, giving her confirmations on every single thing I was trying to teach her. Um, 
finally she came out of it. So anyways, let's take a listen. Here we go. I don't even know how I remember this, but when I was like six or seven years old, I lived um, on this street called Stewart Street. And it started out that I was riding this motor, little motorcycle down the road. And I ended up in Disney World. And the area I was in in Disney World was, uh, it was, it was really, I've never been to Disney World, but I remember saying out loud, oh, I'm at the Epcot Center. And, um, you know, I was aware that that big round ball thing was there. The world. (laughs) So I'll explain like my surroundings. I was riding my motorcycle, um, the area by the Epcot Center, it reminded me of, um, like, Robinson Crusoe shipwrecked, um, on a, like, or Treasure Island, or, like, a treehouse area, is all I can think of, but it had all these shops. So, shipwrecked, something bad, Treasure Island, something good. Uh, rapture and tree houses in the Bible we are known as trees um, and that is a reference to man uh, so we'll go on it was like a whole little village and it had all these wooden shops they were up on stilts it was a whole little land and there was tons of people and how it was laid out was there were these wooden um, rope bridges And I was riding my bike um, across these rope bridges that were leading to different houses and shops on stilts. And um, and so these are uh, walkways, wooden walkways, bridges leading to these houses. Okay, Uh, you're going to hear in this that they have uh, wooden boats, which remind me of the ark. Um, now we know that the Lord Jesus Christ is the bridge from the accursed law to grace, being saved by grace through faith. And um, let's see what else she's got here. It, well, we'll go on, then I'll say some more. Okay, here we go. And around, once you got over the, the rope bridge, and underneath was like clear water. They were, they were up on stilts, and there was water. It was like a whole um, shop village and ha- little houses. Um. Okay, so they're up on stilts. That means they are protected. They are over clear water. That is the Holy Spirit. Okay, here we go. Above the water. And um, around the shops, there were little, very narrow wooden passageways, um, like... Uh, walkways also made out of wood the same kind as the bridges okay so again the cross is the wood the narrow passageway is the Lord Jesus Christ there is no other way we are only there uh, superseding the righteousness of the Pharisees by having faith in the Lord Jesus Christ his uh, righteousness is then imputed to us by faith that's the only way you're going to be able to stand in front of a holy righteous and perfect God is by the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ and this, the blood sacrifice that he did for us. Okay, that is a st- straight and narrow way. The gate, the door, any other way is a, sh- is a thief and a robber if you go into the door any other way. Okay, so here we go. And so I had parked my bike and I was walking through all these people. <clears throat> and um, I had stopped and I looked out, I walked into this one shop. It had like wooden barrels and supplies. It was like a supply shop or something. And the wooden barrels looks like the old barrels, like on a pirate ship, like um, where they keep the gunpowder, you know, the old gunpowder barrels. Okay, so we have a supply shop, looks like a supply shop. Uh, well, that's what we're doing right now. We're getting a bunch of supplies. 
and then we have a gunpowder barrel there's barrels in it and I do believe that's uh, illuminating to war uh, so um, I think everything's going to be happening real fast you guys and we're going to be out of here real soon so here we go and so I happen to look that and then I looked through a window at the little houses um, next to this building I was in and I perceived that people live there and on the side of their house each house on stilts had a wooden boat Arc. and each ho little house had a place to put this wooden boat it was like a cubby and they that I, and in between the cubbies they stuck like seaweed and burlap sacks and they tucked it in around the boats and and I think it was even tucked in around because they looks like little wooden log cabins or something with the bridges walkways around them and then the the hanging bridges to each of the the places and um I remember saying out loud oh so that's where they how they do it here I, it was just really weird and I um I remember walking back out onto one of these narrow passageways around one of these little little buildings or shops and I was standing there talking to these ladies I guess or these people and uh, I accidentally fell back and I landed in the water off of this little because the water was probably like three feet down or two feet down before they came up to the bottoms of these bridges and the buildings and um, I noticed that the water had went from crystal clear to just muck and dirt dirty water and I was like ooh so, please someone help me you know <laughs> And I believe the Lord was showing me, hey, it used to be clear water there, and now it's it's dirty and gross. And I even remember a seaweed touching my foot, and I was like, ooh, and uh, wrapping around my leg. And so this lady just pulled me out. She just reached down, and boom, straight straight out I came because I wasn't able to get up to w the, the walkway on my own. Okay, right there. The muddy, the water was clear. There's a twofold here. The water was clear, and uh, well, it got muddied by the law, and well, she she couldn't get out by herself, and so there was a lady, and I think that was probably me, helping her out to get up on that wooden walkway. Okay, you guys, through Christ alone, Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. All glory goes to Him. So let's go on. And um. And an interesting thing, too, is these people were packing in. And suddenly it grew chaos. And thousands of people came packing into this little town, little Disney town, like a little curio town. And all the people were Asian descent. And then things started getting really hectic, like something was about to happen okay i'm gonna stop it right there so things started getting hectic that reminds me of uh kim fisher's dream um widespread panic that's going on right now the asian people all piling in i believe that that's because it's from china that uh well the coronavirus is taking over this well the whole world pandemic and the united states and disney and disney was just closed down and um Let's see what else. Uh, oh, and something was about to happen. Now, I just heard a person uh, put out a dream where she saw haphazard her. Um, sorry, y'all. Haphazard suits. Let me say that right. And uh, she had had that dream like three or four years ago. And she said something was about to happen. They were getting ready for something to happen. And, and then she mentioned an asteroid, I believe, I'm pretty sure she did, and also war. And then uh, two little ones, one little one uh, from 
Alex's little one from Sealed by the Blood said that um, Jesus was protecting us from an asteroid. And then the other little one said that, and this is an eight-year-old, and honey, I can't remember your little one's your name, so I'm going to, I might share that video, okay? Um, and I'll put your name in the comment section with your little one, okay? And uh, this little one said that people were in their houses, and if you went outside, you got shot. And that reminds me of Gone with the Wind, because, you know, that movie is about martial law and civil war and I do believe this is going to bring about some uh, chaos you guys uh, and also my husband had a dream where he saw tents and I believe they're bringing tents in right now to uh, Central Florida uh, for testing and all those kinds of things and for um, where people can go and be you know in their own area uh, excluded and to if they had the coronavirus and this and that and the other and then he saw a fireball going to the sky he looked back he saw a rainbow which is our promise that we are not appointed to wrath and then he looked back and he saw um, a mushroom cloud again there's war again there's uh, an asteroid uh, which an asteroid um, the little the one little one said a meteor at, and Jesus was protecting us from a meteor a meteor is a small piece that comes off an, of an asteroid, okay? And then my husband saw um, in his dream, the ground started breaking up after the mushroom cloud and he got off on the right hand side of the road and his father was driving. So I just wanted to share all this with you. Let's listen a, a little bit more and then we're done. Okay, here we go. And I, I'm not sure what it was. I had slipped into a shop and uh it's like I perceived that I had I was supposed to start work there or something like that. I don't okay, know. Okay, again, she had just been pulled out of the mucky water, out of the law, and she was perceiving that she was supposed to start work there. Well, she did start work, and she's been doing it for two years now, preaching the love and mercy and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and that we are saved by grace through faith alone, in Christ alone. Amen? Amen. Okay, so let's go on. This woman was holding a pink coffee mug. Peace and relaxation. And uh, and then I remember I felt like I had to get out of here, so I was looking for my bike, and I lost lost my can't remember where I put my my bike, so I was retracing my steps. But as I was doing this, I remember there were, were tons and tons of Asian. Everybody turned into an Asian person, mm. and I remember thinking, "What is going on?" And. Uh, she was being shown the coronavirus. So, I don't know. I think, um, so if you, I was looking, I, I've never been to Disney World, so I was looking at the Epcot Center, and this picture popped out to me. It says, the best illuminations viewing spots. Now, I've had vision. Now, I'm going to say, Illum, Illumi, Illumi, Illuminated, Illuminations, Nations, Nations. So, the Illuminati, the Illuminati, sorry, y'all, the Illuminati is, well... You know, they are in control of all this that's going on. It's about the Masonic compass and a sun being in the middle of the Masonic compass. And then after that, the vision turned into a nuclear explosion with this huge mushroom cloud. And uh, the Asian people might represent... Uh, okay, so again, she's had war. At the end of this, she had a vision, she said. And, uh, well... I just wanted to bring this to you and let you guys know that we are getting ready to go home. It's not going to be much longer. I, I just feel it in my bones. Uh, the way everything is going, it's going to go boom, 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 I think, real fast. Um, I'm going to bring one more video. As soon as uh, Joe Biden wins this uh, candidacy uh, for the Democrats, I'm going to be back with another video and another dream. So you guys look up. Because your redemption is nigh. Amen and amen.